All right, let's check this out here. So I have to go flip around here a bit with all the submissions, which are cool. It's cool to see the edit for sure. And then we have that um, as a single shot. It's definitely, it's tricky, tricky. I like it as an edit. Let's go back here. Given that it's, uh, I believe those are called Viverns, those type of dragons, the ones with with uh, front legs. I think this could be, a, you know, this could be almost like a, a jump, like legs, front legs go back, like a, a, like a step jump with a little bit of a wing flap. That could be kind of neat. Since, uh, since the T-Rex is just running forward, a little bit of contrast of like something like that in its path. Kind of neat. Oh my god. I buy all this, right? And this could be something where you would stage it that the, the T-Rex face is a bit more like that on the passing. It's just turning around with its mouth open towards us so it's gonna go almost like a blend transition that you can then continue from here on ish it's cool the thing is same here i would just keep an interest on maybe the mouth would be lower we can that makes no sense but like for upper lower jaw evil eyes <laughs> Something to look at, so we don't just look at on this on their side fleshy thingies. But it's cool then to have it framed back onto this. Yeah, as long as you, as long as there's something of interest through here, I think that's a cool transition into this type of framing where you have, um, you know, like the towering. T-Rex kind of framing framing the other creature here. It's cool. Yeah, actually, I really like it. I think it's a, definitely a, a great start. Um, and yeah, and that's for that for that um, charging, what you said here, like a little jump. I think that would be cool, like a walk, run, jump type of thing, you know? So it's just in contrast to what the T-Rex is doing. Yeah, I think that's very cool. And then going back to this one. This is a bit, what I would do here, you know, how see how the root is just kind of just going up here? And it would be A, need to break it up a bit where it might, I would probably leave with the head more, do a specific move that makes it clear to the audience, all right, all right he saw something or she, Right, since it's a, such a turn, I could already start with a little bit of a head turn. So, all right, I'm ready to go. Then the butt goes up, and then for the butt, it just feels like a very, very straight up move, where you can have it lean potentially over into another. You know, it's already into a kind of a weight shift. This feels just like a straight up translation in the Y almost. It's a bit to the left, but something a bit more complex in that turn, I think. And then we can kind of work on the mechanics, but I will have to look at some reference as well. How this would unfold. This feels really flattened, like where the ankle comes up really late. And I would have to look at references to see like how late does it actually happen? Or is it already higher through here? You know, as it gets up, it's already lifting that, that ankle type of thing. Watch out, there's a bit of a whoop right there. I think that move up on the root is a bit fast. I can kind of buy the up, but then I would hold it higher a bit longer and then come down and have a, a slight drag in the head ever so slightly. Just right now it feels a bit fast. Whoop right there. Just because it takes everything with it, the head and all that stuff. Right through here's a bit of an IK moment here. Watch out. It's just the visual thing of having the scapula so high up, right? And you have this type of distance. And then you do this, and it feels like it just shrunk the whole thing. 
while the orientation of the head hasn't really changed. See, you can just, it kind of translates up almost in an IK fashion. So just at this point here, it feels broken, the chest and head or, um, connection. Watch out, intersections on the stone, but that's that kind of stuff for later. The weight on the drop is great. But you can probably, boom, on that, would have a little bit of drop down on the nose, just a bit, but that would do also do a little bit of a side rotation, like a tilt, give it more some complexity in the rotation, so it's not so still. Boom. Yeah, you want to feel something. And then at the end, you got that thing again where the root goes, not the root, actually, it's the chest. Just this area goes up and down very quickly and takes the head with it very quickly. Watch right there, that up and down, and then watch it in the head. Boop, boop. So it gives kind of a weird bob in the, in the head where at this point, like after this here, it feels like here's the joint that takes everything up and down, the whole head. Boop, boop. So you're gonna have to break that up a bit where, like I said, that impact a bit lower with some side rotation. Then the, you know, the chest goes back up because the legs are pushing the whole thing up but then it has a bit of a delay in the head. So by the time you're here, you know, the head will be a bit lower and then the chest can come back down and then the head is finally reaching its top point. So just breaking it up a bit so it doesn't feel so stiff. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.